Hello everybody and welcome to today's Thought for the Day, which is for the 26th of February. Today we're thinking about Psalm 42. It's a beautiful psalm and it feels so relevant to the situation that we're in today. So I'm going to start by reading it out to you, um, just verses 1 to 5 though, because it's quite long. Psalm 42. As the deer pants for streams of water, so my soul pants for you, my God. My soul thirsts for God, for the living God. When can I go and meet with God? My tears have been my food day and night, while people say to me all day long, where is your God? These things I remember as I pour out my soul. How I used to go to the house of God under the protection of the mighty one with shouts of joy and praise among the festive throng. Why, my soul, are you downcast? Why so disturbed within me? Put your hope in God, for I will yet praise him, my Saviour and my God. It's the perfect psalm for the times that we're living in. It starts with that beautiful image of a deer panting for water. I can't really picture a deer panting. That's not an image that comes naturally. I can think of other animals like a dog maybe panting for water, but a deer, I'm not so sure. But I do have a good picture in my mind of the deer once it's found the stream and has stuck its nose in as having a lovely long drink. And just that feeling of relief and refreshment that um, it must be getting. I don't know if you can remember a time when you felt really thirsty and then finally been able to get your hands on a glass of water or a bottle of drink and just that lovely feeling as the cold liquid goes down. I remember one time I was on a bike ride, a long time ago, and um, I was so thirsty, it was such a hot day, and I saw a girl sitting in her garden and I actually asked her if she could, if she wouldn't mind getting me a drink and she brought out a bottle of water and I just like glugged this whole thing down and she just looked at me with her eyes on stalks. She couldn't believe how much of it I drank and um, then I went on my way. But um, that feeling once you, when you've been really thirsty and then you get that drink and how it just is it's so restorative and refreshing. So the person who wrote this psalm had that kind of a deep thirst. He says, when can I go and meet with God? And I remember when I used to go to the house of God with shouts of joy and praise amid the festive throng. That sounds a bit familiar to us, doesn't it? Doesn't it feel like ages ago that we were able to go to church and um, all the fun that we have and the, the joy of seeing each other? The thing is, though, this psalm was written when the Jews were actually in exile. So they were away from their homeland and so they didn't have the temple. And the Jews then believed, um, as you probably know from the Old Testament, that God actually dwelt in a way in the temple in Jerusalem, in the Holy of Holies. And so um, the Jews used to believe that they had to go to Jerusalem physically to worship God properly. So they could pray in their homes, but in order to make the sacrifices they needed to do and to do the proper worship, they were supposed to go to Jerusalem. So. When they couldn't do that, and even knowing that the temple had even been destroyed, for them they felt really cut off from God. And that's actually different from us, because we don't think that we have to go to a particular place to worship God. We know that God is with us, he's actually dwelling in us, so we're not cut off from him. I want to remind you of the words that Jesus said another time to the woman of Samaria. He said to her, whoever drinks from the water I give them will never thirst. Indeed, the water I give them will become in them a spring of water welling up to eternal life. And he was talking to her there about the Holy Spirit. He actually said to her that um, he said the day will come when you won't have to go to Jerusalem or Mount Gerizim or a certain place to worship God, but you'll be able to worship him in spirit and in truth. So whilst we might well be missing going to church, and that's perfectly good to do that, even so we don't need to feel cut off from God or from each other. So if you're feeling spiritually dry or cut off like that, just I want to encourage you to turn to God again in prayer 
and specifically ask him to receive from that spring of living water, which is the Holy Spirit, to really know that God is with you and is, can fill you again today. And hopefully, like the psalmist, you'll feel encouraged and, and be reminded that the day will come when you can go and worship God again at church and that we will know the joy of worshipping together again sometime. But in the meantime, keep drawing from that spring of living water, like the deer who finds the stream and finally has that lovely long drink. So I want to finish by praying for us about this together. Let's pray. Dear Lord, sometimes at the moment we can feel pretty discouraged or low and, yes, cut off from one another or even from you. We do thirst for you and for the time when we can sing and pray together again. But we know that we need never to feel cut off from you. And we're so grateful for that. Please may we drink deeply of you today. Please refresh us in our prayer lives. Please fill us again today with your Holy Spirit so much that it overflows and that we can share that encouragement with others. Thank you, Lord, for this great gift and promise. And I want to pray now, especially for anyone who's listening in today, who's living on their own or who's struggling with difficult circumstances, that they may feel sure of your close, comforting presence with them today. In Jesus' name. Amen. <laughs>